So we've got this pillow here. It's called a body pillow. And I measured it from left all the way to right. And from top all the way to bottom. And it measured 50 inches in length. And with a very generous, for plumping here, as you can see it's quite thick, um, I gave it 17 inches across. So that's 34. Um, the least amount of sewing will be if I make a piece of fabric that is 17 by uh, 17 by 50 and I'll show you now so here's the material I chose it's a um, pretty thick material very uh, high thread count and you can see where I marked off the chalk so what I did is I um, basically have uh, 34 inches by 50 inches long with a little bit extra and I'm now going over and I'm going to pin this and then we're going to get on the sewing machine. I've already picked out a thread um, that matches it pretty closely but since we're going to turn this inside out it doesn't really matter um, but I'm going to be using this pillow tonight. Okay so just before I start sewing I've left this end open here and I'm laying it on top of the pillow just for general fit <clears throat> and you can see that it's kind of snug and it goes all the way over so that I've got double this material and I've pinned it all the way down so you can see that it gets basically this is the least amount of sewing I could do conserving the most material and it actually works in line with um, the material that's available um, the way that it's cut off bolts and you can see that it doesn't line up perfectly it's from a rough cut but again, I'm just going to pretty much do a straight stitch all the way down. doesn't matter what um, color thread I do because this is going to turn inside out. And then on this open end, I haven't decided yet, but I have kind of a gold thread that I think I'm going to, uh, not a, not a uh, metallic thread, but a gold colored thread. And I think I'm going to do something ornate here or maybe cuff it over to give it a little bit of personality because it is just kind of dark brown. Well, let's get it in the sewing machine. Okay, so... I've got the material loaded in here and I'm going to actually just come back a little bit to start the stitch and I'm starting it at the corner here so that we can go forward. I'm going inside here so that uh, my stitches are close to the edges where the material lines up but I have to go in a little bit because as you can see it doesn't line up completely perfectly but that's okay because this is all going to come out in the wash. So we just kind of move along. We're going to pull those pins out when we're done, making sure that we're at least grabbing the material on the top and the bottom, slowing down a little bit here. And all I'm going to do is just kind of lift this presser foot up. I'm going to rotate the material and I keep it taut so that I'm not pulling on it. I'm going to line this up by eye right at the corner. Again, it doesn't matter too much because this is going to go inside out. Just sliding along here on the pins, trying to keep a fairly straight line. This is our longest part here. It's going around the pin. And I'm going to continue like this for a few more minutes and I'll show you the finished product. Just wanted to give you a view here as I'm going along the pins and if I pull the material apart here you can see that it lines up pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead feed a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing. And you can see that I'm doing a straight stitch. If I pull it up from behind here you can see that straight stitch. What's going to happen is this is nice and straight when I turn it inside out the seam is going to be beautiful and you're not going to see that thread at all. So I'm going to keep going and again show you the finished product here in a minute. Alright, just wanted to kind of show you here as I pull the pins out and we're just going to kind of do this right before your eyes because I'm going to pretty much work on the project from here on out with the material looking the way it's going to look on the pillow. Make sure not to stick yourself with pins. And by the way, you'll see my stitching isn't perfect. There are some areas that I was going a little crooked, pulled in a little, but I made a nice right angle here and you can see that it picked up both 
pieces of the material, top and bottom. The stitch is very tight because we don't want that coming apart. This is the stitch that we're not going to see, but is going to be the glue that holds it together. Okay, so once I've got everything out, you can see my open end over here, which I backed up and uh, went forward and back several times. I'm going to go ahead and reach all the way to the back here. It's always good when you have uh, no sleeves on. And you can see I've got a rough edge here. And there is my seam. That is pretty much clean, clear. You don't see that, that thread for the most part. And it goes all the way to the end. Again, this material is a real nice, thick, kind of velvety material. And you can see here is a good example of where, no problem, I have a little opening here. And what probably happened was the material didn't line up perfectly, whereas if it did, it would be like that. So I'm just going to go ahead in these two little spots, turn it back inside out, and fix those up real quick. And it doesn't matter if it's sloppy. It's actually going to be double protected. So we'll continue in a minute. Okay, what I'm doing here is I've noticed that the edges <coughs> on the open end, whether it's closed or open, are pretty much frayed. So before I seal it up with a decorative finish, I am just um, cut the material a little bit. And I'm just kind of by hand doing a, again, I have the material inside out. Um, so this is not going to show except for a stitching on the outside, which will then be folded over because I do have an extra amount of material. And what I'm doing here, pardon the view is just basically kind of going along here and we're going to go ahead and do that and then I'll move on to the next step in a second. Okay, what I'm doing here is just putting a decorative fold over so you can see I picked, uh, I don't know if you can see that real well, um, kind of a leafy stitch, just an ornate stitch and what I'm doing is, as you can see on the front here, is I'm just folding that <clears throat> that hem over that I made um, and I'm folding it over as I go along and I'm going to go all the way around um, so that it kind of covers the edge and then I'll have a nice finished edge and we're just going to keep going along here keep this folded and move it along and just right at the edge is the reason that is our border and it's going to come out very pretty I think I'll show it to you when it's done okay here's the finished product um, you can see on the end here we have our nice inside out seam where again it's not perfect but it doesn't matter because this is just turned inside out and just holding it together that seam is invisible on the top because we used only two seams one on the side and one as you can see going all the way down here and I think I did a pretty good job of keeping that straight and also measuring it right because the pillow is nice and snug and then here get a nice view of the beautiful finished edge and as you can see we uh, just put a seam here which is now invisible folded that over used a decorative and this also of course gave us a nice um, seal here so this made this edge extra strong and you can see it's a beautiful pattern um, and I think I picked a good thread to go with it and there we have our body pillow and we now made a pillowcase for about a dollar a square yard um, and I think we uh, we've got about maybe a yard and a half here so this cost us about a dollar fifty a little bit of thread and uh, I had fun doing it so I don't know why anybody would ever not make everything themselves